I want to be clear, though. We're going to make sure Ukraine has the weapons to defend themselves from, from invading Russian force. And, and we will send money and food aid to save Ukrainian lives. We're going to welcome Ukrainian refugees with open arms if, in fact, they come all the way here. And as we provide as we provide this support to Ukraine, we're going to continue to stand together with our allies in Europe and send an unmistakable message that we will defend every inch of NATO territory, every single inch, with a united, galvanized NATO. One movement. That's why I moved over 12,000 American forces along the borders with Russia, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, Romania, et cetera, because they move once. Granted, if we respond, it is World War III, but we have a sacred obligation on NATO territory, a sacred obligation, Article 5, and we will not, although we will not fight the Third World War in Ukraine. Putin's war against Ukraine was never be a victory. Democrats are rising to meet the moment, relying, r rallying the world on the side of peace and security. We are showing the strength and we'll never falter. But look, the idea, the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand, and uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War III.